Hello everyone, so um, in today's video I want to do a follow-up on the previous video uploaded plus a summary of what we did um, in today's class. Keep in mind the three accounting equations or the three representations of the accounting equation I am displaying on this screen. We will come back to this at, on the last part of this video, okay? So, um, as I said, I explained the accounting equation on the previous class, but I did not give you examples of assets, liabilities, and, and capital. So I would like to give you examples. Today I would like you to classify a few accounts, but before we do that, keep in mind that assets are what the business owns, liabilities are what the business owes, and capital is the investment made by the owner. Okay. So on this side, I have a list of accounts and they are classified either as assets or liabilities. What I want you to do is go ahead and pause the video and classify them and then you can play the video again. Take a few seconds to do that. Okay, so now uh, hopefully you have your answers. Um, motor vehicle is considered an asset. Okay. Premises, also an asset. Accounts payable, I said that anytime you see the word payable, that will be a liability. It's something that you need to pay in the future. So that is a liability. Inventory, those are your stock of goods or goods, things that the business will um, sell and hopefully make a profit on. So that is an asset. Uh, accounts receivable, the word receivable there should tell you that you will receive uh, hopefully some money in the future, so that is also an asset. Uh, owing to bank, keyword is owing, so that is a liability. Cash in hand, that is an asset. Loan from T. Thomas, keyword right there, loan, so in this case that would be a liability. And the last one for this section is machinery. Machinery is an asset, okay? So I have a very similar activity on this side and you will notice that perhaps a few of them repeat uh, the accounts are repeated but that's okay it happens a lot in accounting so I want you to go ahead again and pause the video for a few seconds and categorize them either as assets or liabilities and then you play the video again okay so let's look at each account so loan from Belize Bank keyword right there is loan so that is a liability mortgage on office building a mortgage is a loan so that's money that we need to pay the bank at some point so that is a liability um, accounts receivable accounts receivable keyword right there receivable so we know at this point that is an asset warehouse that is where we keep all our goods our inventory perhaps so most more than likely that is also an asset computers asset loan to f frank if you notice it says loan to so in this case we are uh, giving a loan to f frank so this would be an asset because he owes us okay equipment that is an asset we owe supplier keyword that we owe so that is a liability and the last one that perhaps might seem a bit tricky is capital and capital is capital okay so that is a new one in this class keep that in mind okay capital is capital now let's move on to the last section of this video okay so here I have a small scenario that I want you to read so I suggest you pause the video because we're going to do a, a, an activity right here so pause the video look at what they have displayed and then we take it on from there okay so you notice perhaps that there are a list of assets in this scenario very likely you picked up that many of them are assets and a couple are liabilities okay i'm sure you noticed that so to save time i went ahead and classified them for you okay so you perhaps noticed that they listed a van market stall computer inventory cash in hand 
and cash at bank. All of those are examples of assets. And there were two liabilities, namely accounts payable and loan from Atlantic Bank. Those two are liabilities. So we have a list of assets and liabilities. So what we should do at this point is add up all our assets. We should also add our two liabilities. So at this point, if you notice, we have total assets and total liabilities. So we can go ahead and look at the accounting equation and decide which of these three representations of the accounting equation will we use. And in this case, it's going to be um, the third equation because we are looking for capital. So I'm going to paste that here. We're looking for capital, but we know our total assets and we know our total liabilities. So we can go ahead and simply subtract assets minus liabilities. So I'm going to say here assets minus liabilities and our capital in this case is $15,600. Again, let me remind you, take a look at the description of the video to know what other um, problems to practice on before next class. Thank you, guys.